pretty good. You know, last time I was talking about this series, with issue 21, I was talking about how we were getting, like, a revenge story. And we got a revenge story. It starts off real good. Uh, you know how I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't... I don't really care about, like, politics and stuff. I mean, I care about the politics, but this was some good stuff here. So Jace's bestie from years ago is trying to convince one of his kids to stab him in the back. Possibly quite literally. Uh, although, really, it's more stab him in the eye, because I mean, the kid's missing an eye, so that's what this is all about. She's manipulative. He appears to be going right along with it. It's fantastic stuff, especially when you get to the end of the issue and you see how all this setup uh, pays off. Boy, I, I hope the part I want to show is not past the staple. I really do, because it, it's, it's pretty good. Like, there's a whole lot of setup, a whole lot of build-up to where we get to, and it's worth every little bit of it. There's a lot of pages of the different factions here. Uh, talking and scheming together. And while I didn't really care about this stuff in the previous issue, uh, it actually worked a lot better in this one because they're not just like posturing. They're, they're going to do it at a, a like a fairground, of course. Where's the staple? Where's the staple? Oh... Shoot, we can't... I'm not going to show the thing I wanted to show. I, I think it reveals too much. So there's a lot of build-up. Look at this crazy, crazy two-page, 20-panel layout. What a wild grid. I don't really like it when they do this... Uh, big thing like this. I would rather be reading like that for a situation like this. But at least with an odd number of panels, get uh, like it's obvious that you're supposed to just read across the page. So at this point, they've set their trap. They're going down the checklist. All right, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? You all know the plan. You all know the plan. We're doing uh, white mask stuff, which means we're all going to jump him at the same time. And that's exactly what happens. So they got the kid out there. He's got a balloon. When the kid recognizes Jace Boucher, he lets go of the balloon, and that's the moment when everyone strikes. Now, meanwhile, you know, this is the House of Boucher guys doing their trap, but the House of Slaughter wants to take Jace out so that they can kind of redeem their honor uh, and also look serious, like look like they're serious business instead of a bunch of losers because apparently something, something, they suck. Like, again... One of my things with this story is I don't really care about all these internal politics of the groups that are supposed to be fighting monsters. Like, I, I don't care. Maybe you guys could present a unified front against the monsters and thus kill all the monsters. I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, what is that uh, Howie Mandel movie from the late 80s? Sorry for it in the mic. That he, where he's like plays a monster. I'm blanking on the name. And I wish I remembered the name of it. It's actually a really interesting movie. Uh, you know, maybe maybe these dudes could go after, like, those monsters, too, you know? Like, like you, we've got the real big monsters. Let's look at uh, the lesser monsters. I learned about that Howie Mandel movie by uh, a comic book, actually. Let's see, what is it? Little Monsters, that's the name of it. Little Monsters. Yeah, it's a weird movie. Anyway, like, you know, after you take out the real monsters, the big scary, we're going to eat your face, giant crocodile monsters, maybe you can take out, like, the monsters that are just like, let's make kids stay up late. Because, you know, that, that's what they do in that movie. Let's, uh, let's give kids candy. Ooh, candy. So evil. Like, it's a weird movie. Pretty good movie. So this is great. We're building up the tension here, panel by panel, like it's ratcheting up slowly. They're getting ready, they're getting ready, they're getting ready. He's approaching, they're getting ready, getting ready. He's approaching, getting ready, getting ready. He's approaching, getting ready, getting ready. But, if you look carefully at the panels, they foreshadow what happens on the next page. The, the, the twist. And I can't tell you what the twist was, because I feel like if I tell you what the twist is, it's going to ruin everything. 
but she has some idea what's going on with the twist. And here's the House of Slaughter people getting ready to jump in and kill Jace. And it's great stuff. It's really great stuff. I, I had a blast with this book. All right. I think that's it. That's all I got to say is I had a blast with the book. You all take care of yourselves. That's House of Slaughter 22. I got to go read 23 now. Like I'm, I'm, I'm shutting up and I'm reading 23. That's how hype I am to see what's next.